day to all of you basketball enthusiasts and welcome again to the second part of our video series titled How to Defend the Pick and Roll. My name is Coach Juno Saller of the Magnolia Hotshots and again along with me is Coach Mon Jose, Assistant Coach and Video Coordinator of the Magnolia Hotshots Pambansang Mano. Together, Coach Mon and I would like to discuss several ways of how to defend the pick and roll. Before we proceed to Coach Juno's breakdown, let's first take a look back at some of the key factors to consider. In this video, we would like to talk about two ways on how to defend the pick and roll. The first one is called hard show, or some coaches might like to call it hedge. The second way is called blitz, blitzing the pick and roll, or some coaches might call it trap. Now let's look at the differences. Here are the advantages of hard show or hedge. Number one, it takes away the ball carrier's downhill attack to the basket and also prevents the quick pull-up jump shot. Number two, the pass out of the pick and roll be, will be a little more difficult for the ball carrier. The disadvantages of the hard show are, number one, the screener will be briefly open on the pick and pop and a possible open jump shot. Number two, if a good pass is made by the ball carrier, it's possible that the offense will have a 4-on-3 advantage. Now let's take a look at example of hard show. Here, we see Jason Castro with the ball, defended by Mark Barocca, and now Kelly Williams coming over to set the ball screen. Once Ian Sangalang sees this, Ian Sangalang has to move up a little bit to hard show or to hedge, thus taking away the straight attack to the basket by Jason Castro and it also takes away the quick pull-up jump shot. This gives Mark Barocca time to recover in front of Jason Castro, being able to stay in front of him, thus being able to challenge a jump shot. Here now are the advantages of blitzing or trapping the pick and roll. Number one, it completely eliminates scoring abilities of the ball handler. Number two, it puts a lot of ball pressure on the ball handler, thus making the pass and the dribble very difficult. The disadvantages are number one, it leaves the screener completely open. Number two, it's susceptible to a defensive breakdown which forces the defense to scramble a lot. Now let's take a look at how to blitz or trap the pick and roll. Here we will see L.A. Tenorio with the ball and Aljon Mariano as the screener. Once L.A. Tenorio uses the screen, you will see Gio Halalon and Rodney Brondial trap or blitz L.A. Tenorio. This now takes away all the scoring options and abilities of the ball handler. But the disadvantage here is that it leaves the screener wide open. This now forces the defense to scramble. Thank you Coach Juno for that breakdown. The hard show and the trap 
are two good defensive pick and roll schemes if you want to take away the attack of a good pick and roll player or to even completely take the ball out of his hands and allow one of the other four players beat you. Again, thank you for watching our videos. Hope that you guys are learning a lot and enjoying watching them. Stay tuned for part three of our video series, Defending the Pick and Roll. See you guys soon.